there are some common nucleophilic substitution reactions that we need to know. Firstly, we can form alcohols from halogenyl alkanes through a process called hydrolysis. The halogenyl alkane is heated with an aqueous alkali, and OH is the attacking nucleophile. The reagent is aqueous KOH or NaOH, and the condition is simply to heat. We can also form nitriles, which are organic compounds of the CN group. By heating the halogenyl alkanes with cyanide and a mixture of alcohol and water, the CN acts as a nucleophile. The reagent is KCN and aqueous alcohol, and the condition is again heat. This is a very useful reaction because we can extend the carbon chain by one. The nitrile can then be converted to amines or carboxylic acids. To convert the nitrile into an amine, we can reduce it in lithium aluminium hydride in dry ether at room temperature, or by heating it with H2 and the nickel catalyst. We'll be covering this again when we talk about amines. We can also heat it with an acid, like HCl, or a base like NaOH, so that nitrile can hydrolyze into a carboxylic acid. The last nucleophile we can use is ammonia. In this case, the reagent is excess concentrated ammonia and ethanol, and the condition is to heat in a sealed tube. We need to use excess ammonia because the amine products formed can still act as nucleophiles, and then we'll get a mixture of unwanted products if excess ammonia is not present.